Hi, so today I would like to share my thoughts about Tender is the Flesh and this book is just the most disturbing book I've ever read and one of the things that makes it so disturbing is the fact that it's talking about this experiment of what would happen if all of a sudden all the animals we are currently farming they catch a disease and we cannot eat them anymore. What would happen in that case? What would humans do? Would they just become all vegans and stop eating animals? Would we do some crazy lab experiments and start multiplying their cells and just finding ways of creating false meat, which is something we are already doing, but in in the case of a book that was just not possible. So what we decided to do will just completely make make you question the human psyche and that couldn't be more disturbing. It is talking about the fact that we decide to farm humans the same way as we farm animals. We would pick out a special certain kind of human and we would just put them on the slaughterhouses and breed them and make them do weird stuff and we would just kill them the same way but this focuses more specifically on what we do to women and in this case they decided to select a certain type of women and they would take their milk exactly the same way as we do with the cows and it just makes you really disgusted and question everything and probably will make you look at your plate in a different way and what you eat so i while reading this book uh, it just made made me think about eating animals in a completely different way and i for a while started feeling very disgusted about it this book's fellow is Marcus, who is our main character, and he works in a slaughterhouse and he needs to do some disgusting work for them. And in this case, we just uh, find out that he needs to take care of a specimen, which was a young girl that he needed to take care of and feed and just look after. So she one day could be a special kind of meat. So we follow this character and he is extremely unreliable he just makes you think about him in a way but in reality he is another so i think you would really enjoy reading it i'm not really going into too much detail because i know i would give away some of the most essential parts of the book and things that would make you really excited about reading it but i cannot say it will be an enjoyable read this is very uncomfortable and it will if if you're already thinking that this will well if you eat meat and if you think this is the kind of book that will make you question your what you're eating it probably will and it's just written in a, in a very simple but elegant way and it is actually super realistic it could be it, the way it is written it could just be the reality and that is one of the most fascinating things about this book there will be plot twists i can guarantee you that well, at least that's how I felt about it. And to make things even weirder, this book is half eaten by dogs, which makes it weird. But that's just how it is. And I'm not getting rid of this copy because I filled it with notes and thoughts. So yeah, if you decide to read this book, please let me know what you think and let me know if you found it as disturbing as I did. But if you're looking for a weird book that is not comfortable and it's out of whatever you consider as normal this is it this will probably make you think in a different way and you it's very thought-provoking so you will probably be questioning a lot of things if you're looking for a book that you just in will just enjoy just, probably not this one skip this one try something else but if you are ready to be challenged this is it completely recommend it. If you would like to hear more weird recommendations, please let me know. I did read a few weird books 
in my lifetime. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos and have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!